My passion is to educate moms on breastfeeding, and one of the most important things that I do teach is to know when baby's hungry, not when baby's mad. Some of those cues are when baby is like licking of the lips and the hands to the face, because within the womb they're doing this, so they feel like the food's gonna come out of their hand. So we want moms to look for those cues. So I might ask moms, what are some of the cues you look for when your baby's hungry? A lot of the answers I get when baby's crying. Well, by that time, mom has panicked, because it's like, oh my god, baby's crying. So now you're going to be fighting with baby, trying to get baby to eat. The hunger cues this is so important, because we want mom to respond to those cues all at once, so we can get baby what baby needs. And it's more comfortable for mom, too. Demand feeding means that you feed the baby when the baby is ready. We teach moms to watch the baby, not the clock, because babies have early feeding cues. That's the best time to put the baby to breast. The baby's not as frantic. Um, they're going to latch on more effectively. The mother's gonna be more relaxed than with a frantic baby. Parents don't often know how much volume that the baby takes in. It's a very small amount. So we have visual cues that are on our doors that show the baby's tummy size for the first few days. Mothers often don't realize that babies can feed anywhere from 8 to 14 times in 24 hours. This is normal. Babies feed frequently. They don't feed on a regular schedule because they only need drops of colostrum in that first 24 hours. When mothers are engorged, they should put their baby skin to skin, let the baby find the breast, and learn that this is the normal process. This is what happens. They don't need a breast pump to solve their engorgement issues. The baby can be effective and be the tool that they need to help relieve the engorgement. For the staff, many of them are used to saying, nurse your baby at least every two to three hours. That could be sending a mixed message. We ask the patients to keep a log while they're in the hospital and after they go home so they can track how many times the baby is feeding per day. So really what we are looking for is that number of times per day, not so much the interval between. Mothers often don't realize that the hormone that brings their milk in, prolactin, goes higher at night. So babies wake up to feed and feed a lot more often. Babies are night owls. It's normal, it doesn't mean you don't have enough milk. Demand feedings are not just for breastfed babies, they're for all babies out there. None of us eat on the same exact schedule. All the steps are working together when you're demand feeding. If babies and moms are separated, she can't observe those early feeding cues. They need to be together. I personally breastfed my last baby two and a half years. My intentions was six months, but it went so well with just me breastfeeding her. And the more I knew about breastfeeding, the longer I went with breastfeeding. So I tell moms, just think about the importance of how healthy it is for baby in the future. You're giving baby a head start. The overall key to encouraging moms to breastfeed on demand is education, because you can't do what you don't know.